How about Gabe? You don't have to pick me first if you don't want to, bro. <laughs> Dalen, can you take us through? Was it something on tape where you saw maybe we can get this thing, or was it just an effort play? Can you take us through the the block field goal and the scoop and score from Trey? From uh, yeah, um, we just we, we really worked on it a lot this week. Last week we felt like we we could have been better in the field goal the field goal block area, so we just really put a big emphasis on it, and we got the result we wanted this game. Uh, no, I was really just just pushing. Like that coach, coach told me to just get in there and push hard. He actually told me not to get my hands up because I was one of the shorter guys. The other people were supposed to do that, so I was just pushing, and I ended up putting one hand up, and I ended up getting it. We'll stay on the right to Ben. You know that was one of your one of your, one of the biggest plays you've had at A and M. I guess that that sack against Nevada that first year was one of the big ones. What was it like for you to come out and have a have a signature moment? You know, in your senior year. Um. It felt good. It just feels good making plays for my teammates. So that's what it was. In the back to Justin, TV row. Dalen, twofold question here. First of all, giving up the big, some big plays in the run game and then obviously in the pass game as well. How do you guys eliminate that going forward? And then after you answer that one, you do end up, you do seem to bow up a lot in the red zone and force field goals. That's a good trademark to have. So kind of talk about those two things for me. Well, um, we'll have to look at the film and um, see, you know, the mistakes we made. We, uh, Coach definitely talked to us about it at halftime about we got to stop giving up the big plays. And um, we made the adjustments, and I think we shut that down in the second half. And then uh, what, what was the second question? Just they can get stopped in the red zone once they get down there. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's strictly just on practice. I mean, going against our offense, we do a lot of every situation seems like it's goal line. So that's just iron sharpening iron during practice and during the week. We'll go to Brent here in the middle, and then to Zach. So when you're told not to, when you're told not to stick your hand up, what kind of makes you do it right there at the end? And then of course it paid off for you. Uh, I guess just. I don't know. I guess just instinct. I, we 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 uh we got a lot of push, and so like the 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 first one we actually got really close, and I was like, man, if I'd have just put my hands up a little more, you know, I might have got it. In the second one, we just we got this, that same amount of push, and so I just went ahead and just put it up. So coach wasn't too mad about the result. So okay, we'll go to Zach there on your left. Dalen, how does playing a dual threat quarterback like Evans? How does that help prepare you guys moving forward? Uh, it, it, it's great. It's great. Um, seeing seeing dual threat quarterbacks because um, we're going to see a lot being in the SEC. So it's it's great that he, um, he was a dual threat and he made a lot of plays tonight with his feet, um, put us in some positions that were uh, made it hard for us to handle them. And um, it's just great going against a guy like that. I don't see any more questions. Looks like you're done. Oh, we have one more. We'll go to Gabe one more time. How much fun are you having playing football right now, Dalen, and the success that you're having as a senior? It's pretty fun. It's, it's pretty fun. It's probably the most fun I've had since I've been at been in Texas A&M, and it's really because uh, just making plays for my teammates, and my teammates helping me make plays. It's, I, I just really enjoy taking the field with my guys right now. So it's it's fun. I just want to keep it going. Time's winding down, so I, I, only, I think I only got like four or five games left in Kyle Field. So just trying to enjoy them all. Anything else? All right, you're done. Thank you.